Did a version of Windows ever behave this way? Inspired by today's Daily Th article. The author claims that a file, see column backslash program.exe, would be executed when clicking on a shortcut to, for example, see column backslash program files backslash doom2 backslash doom2.exe no music. Supposedly, Windows first attempts to invoke, see column backslash program, with the arguments, files backslash doom2 slash doom2.exe no music. If there is no, see column backslash program.exe, it then tries, see column backslash program files backslash doom, with the arguments, 2 slash doom2.exe no music. And if there is no, see column backslash program files backslash doom.exe backslash, it finally tries, see column backslash program files backslash doom2 backslash doom2.exe no music, and succeeds. This sounds like complete nonsense to me. I can't believe it ever worked this way. A commenter puts it well. I find it hard to believe that any released version of Windows ever did the trial and error approach described by Op. I absolutely believe that a released version of Windows had braindead behavior as a default. I have experienced it firsthand many, many times. What I don't believe is that a released version of Windows had this braindead behavior, as described by the article. It's too huge a security flaw to have gone by unnoticed until some random daily WTF submission uncovered it, at least a decade later since it would have had to be a version of Windows that predated XP. Edit for clarity, here's how I tested this myself. Copy notepad.exe to c colon backslash program.exe. Run c colon backslash program files backslash internet explorer backslash iexplore.exe. Notepad opens. This is expected because it finds something called c colon backslash program. Move program.exe to c colon backslash program files backslash internet.exe. Run c colon backslash program files backslash internet explorer backslash iexplore.exe. According to the author of the article, and this article from Microsoft, Notepad should still open. But it doesn't, the command fails with this message. C column backslash program is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file dot. Again, I am not debating the article's claim that C colon backslash program would be invoked. I am debating that Windows recursively tries every directory until it hits a match. So, did any version of Windows ever work this way? Every version of Windows since long file names were added works this way from Windows 95 and up to including Windows 7. This is behavior is documented. Vop application name parameter can be null. In that case, the module name must be the first white space delimited token in the command line string. If you are using a long file name that contains a space, use quoted strings to indicate where the file name ends and the arguments begin, otherwise, the file name is ambiguous. For example, consider the string c colon backslash program files backslash sub dear backslash program name. This string can be interpreted in a number of ways. The system tries to interpret the possibilities in the following order. As to why it asks this way, so that it doesn't break programs that can't handle spaces and file names correctly. Edit. 
it appears that the run command doesn't behave like this, it must have some extra logic added to handle this exact case. However trying to run from anywhere else, including using the create process function directly which is what most applications would use to run a command. The see this behavior in action. Open an administrative command prompt. Run, copy C column backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash notepad dot exe column backslash program dot exe. Run, C column backslash program files backslash internet explorer backslash iExplorer dot exe. Notepad will open telling you it can't find, files backslash internet explorer backslash iExplorer dot exe. Type, C column backslash program files backslash internet explorer backslash iExplorer dot exe, into the run option and E will open correctly. Edit 2 in the case of your, C column backslash program files backslash internet dot exe, example, I believe this is the command line interpreter getting in the way. It tries to process and tokenize the command line into parameters broken up by spaces. So it takes, C column backslash program, as the first token and interprets that as the program name as the rest as parameters. For a test I created a small application that calls create process directly and it behaves exactly as documented. Your, C column backslash program files backslash internet dot exe, example will launch. C column backslash program files backslash internet dot exe. So it appears that the behavior depends on exactly how the command is run, something may be processing the command line before passing it to create process. Example program. I just want to add something to the previous answers. While it is possible to force this behavior through effort, bad programming, not RTFM, or the unverifiable perfect storm caused by this particular antivirus program, nothing would have caused the behavior described by the article. In absolutely no way would a shortcut created correctly, for example one that targets C colon backslash program files backslash Microsoft backslash office backslash word.x, with the quotes, run C colon backslash program.x. Same with Firefox. Hell, it's basically impossible to create a shortcut that wouldn't be escaped properly, because it's done intelligently. If you create a shortcut on your desktop pointing to Firefox, it will be escaped properly. If you right-click in GT, Properties and try to remove the quotes, it will automatically insert them when you hit Apply, even if C colon backslash program dot X exists. When it passes that, I'm guessing it's either giving preference to the folder or treating everything before the last backslash as part of the path. Only if you insert two spaces between program and files will it be parsed as pointing to C colon backslash program dot X with arguments. If you can edit the shortcut in a text editor, it's not plain text, it might work. Much like shortcuts, the run dialog correctly parses the string, too. Only in the relatively low-level command console would it incorrectly call C colon backslash program dot X, but it won't try the other various possibilities. That is, it will incorrectly try to call C colon backslash program dot X, but will not try to call C colon backslash program files backslash internet dot X or anything else, even if those possibilities exist. It will return an error saying it can't find C colon backslash program dot X. And on top of all this, when there is a program dot X in the C colon backslash folder, it will warn you on startup and ask if you want to rename it. This has been verified for XP, Vista, Windows 7 and I can now verify Windows 8, this URL. Maybe this was possible in Windows 9X, but I doubt it. Bottom line, this is obvious and no Windows programmer would make this mistake. If you want to see more about Samuel, please listen to us on Skype.